Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a very, very long time since I sat down and recorded a video for you. This is also the first video that I am recording in the new apartment. I'm currently in our bedroom, which is kind of the most private space and I feel like it has good enough lighting and all of that. I am also using a new microphone, so let me know down below what you think of the new audio quality. But today's video is going to be about my monthly budget. So ever since December of 2019, I started a journey where I wanted to be better with my money. I wanted to start saving more and investing as well as planning for my retirement. Uh, I have been learning a lot about the FIRE movement, which is financial independence retire early and all of the things that that entails, including paying off my student loans, which thanks to COVID have been on zero interest since March of last year. And I have been able to pay off one loan completely. It was uh, originally like $2,500. So I was able to pay that off, including all of its interest. I'm currently working on paying down a $5,000 loan and then I'll work on paying off a $10,000 loan, which are the highest interest and the lowest quantities. So getting into today's video, I am going to be using a, a monthly budget template that I created. I will link it down in the description box but below if you want to have access to it, as well as insert it right here so that you guys can follow along, okay? Um, one of the things that I want to disclose is that I do not actually use this particular template because I have an Excel document, which is a cash flow document that allows me to see how my money is working for me over long periods of time. But initially, when I started out, I did have a budget very similar to this one. This one is just more visually appealing for you. This one is just more visually appealing and kind of helps um, simplify things in specific boxes so that you can follow along easily. So I'm also going to be looking down a little bit because I have it right here on my computer. Um, so if you see me looking down, that is the reason why. First off is you have to calculate your income after taxes. So my salary from my job is $3,840.12 every month. Um, as a side job, I decided to put the um, COVID relief check that should be coming in in the co next couple weeks, which is $600 for a total income this month of $4,440 with 12 cents. My monthly goals, and this is um, a habit that I first saw on Shea Budget. I will link her channel down below. She has monthly goals of things that she wishes to accomplish that particular month in terms of finances. So I have added a little section in my template for your goals. My goal for this month is to save $600 at least, to pay off $700 of student loans, to pay back my husband for some shared expenses we had, when we went to Puerto Rico uh, back in November and to try to save as much money from my relief check as possible. I'm hoping to save all of it. Next, we are looking at the balances for savings. So as of the date I'm filming this video, my Roth IRA account had $6,044.30. My emergency fund has $2,560 with 41 cents and my down payment savings account has $6,745 with seven cents. Um, as of now, I don't have any other long-term saving goals, but the this category would be if you're saving for a vacation, if you are um, saving for a sinking fund or anything like that, then you could put it in this category as well. Then going into fixed expenses, so things that I pay every month is rent. So that is usually around $915 to $920. So I'm budgeting for the top end of that, but I know that it will be a little bit less. My car loan is always $422.93. Budgeting $700 for student loans, $30 for gas, $25 for health, this is for uh, my monthly medications or any appointments that I may have. In this category, sometimes could increase because I will be making some appointments, so I may modify that in the coming days. 
$400 on my Discover card. So this is my credit card that I use the most because it has cashback benefits. Um, so I pretty much use it for everything that is kind of like a flexible expense or if I am doing any type of personal spending or anything like that. Uh, most of the time I use my Discover card and I think right now the budget is around $350 but by the time that it is due I probably will pay a little bit more so I'm budgeting $400 for that. Um, we had some shared expenses this month so I'm contributing $100 to our Amex bill. My Apple card, so I recently got a new phone. I got the new iPhone 12 Pro, so I put that on the Apple card and I have been using it because it has really good cashback benefits. So if we have any takeout orders or anything like that, then I put it on my Apple card using Apple Pay. $10.81 for my Spotify premium account, $12.95 for my Canva account, which is where you will be which is where you will be seeing the monthly budget template and I use it for a lot of things over on my blog as well as on my personal life. So I love Canva and I'm very happy paying the $13 a month. I am looking into getting their new yearly membership which will save me about $30 or more um, a, a year on what I'm spending on Canva. I also have a PayPal credit account that I use to buy um, things that I want to buy but I don't want to spend the money right off the bat. It allows me to pay it over six months so I can make smaller contributions. So I'm contributing $150 towards my PayPal credit account. My Roth IRA has a direct deposit of $300 so I never see those $300. It goes directly from my employer to my Roth IRA account and then $600 for savings. So those are the expenses that I have every month that kind of fluctuate a little bit. I do have a TJ Maxx card but I haven't used it in a while so I don't have any um, expenses for that. Moving on to the second page, we have our flexible expenses which in this case I don't really have many. I'm, I'm an OBGYN resident as you all know so I don't really go out much um, and now during COVID it makes it even harder to go out so we don't really do much um, aside from buying a few things here and there, so $50 for personal spending, $50 for eating out, and then the rest of the account. I try to do a zero budget, so the remainder of what I do not have anything budgeted for goes into unexpected expenses, which is $418.43. Um, that means I have zero dollars left over. And one of the things that I really, really enjoy is that it allows me to see with those unexpected expenses if I can increase my savings or how I can better use my money to increase my financial goals. So in this case, one of my goals for 2021 is going to be to increase my Roth IRA contributions to $400 a month. And then the other one will be to try and increase my savings from $600 to $800 throughout the year um, a month and to try and pay off those student loans that I mentioned. So things that I do not want to forget is that I want to increase my Roth contributions. I am looking to plan my business business expenses a little bit better. So things like my website, my um, domain, and all of those things that I need to pay on an annual or a semi-annual basis, I wanna get those out of the way. I wanna create sinking funds for them. Um, I want to look for even more ways to expand my income, so side hustle ideas, things that I can do. I hope to transfer all of my relief check into the bank, and I also need to start planning to buy the ACOG prologues, which are review books to our uh, boards. Since I am in the second half of my third year of residency, I really have to start thinking about the future, which is the next year and a half, which means I need to work on finding a job. I need to work on studying for my boards and planning for a big move. So those are things that I want to start planning for. So this month I will start planning on how to save those $500 and buy the prologues. My accounts, I have a checking account, I have two savings account, I have my Roth IRA, 
and then I have not included it here because I am not including that money anywhere here is a business account a business checking account so for next month um, we have to start focusing on taxes so getting all the documents that we need in order to get our taxes set up increase savings and decrease spending so I want to get those credit card bills lower so that I have more money left over to save um, so we'll see kind of how that goes but as you can see this is a very simple monthly budget template it's very easy to modify you guys can download it from canva and then use it as you see fit i will also be letting you know when i finish my workbook so that you guys can get it to get your hands on it if you want to learn more about increasing your financial knowledge and being better with your money, then head over to this tab of videos that I will share here where I will be putting more financial content on my YouTube channel. That is pretty much it for this video, you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram, social media in general to stay up to date with what I am doing. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Walking downtown and I'm okay He's got it all figured out That's what they all say, yeah